In this spring release, we are excited to shine a spotlight on the new Build Your Own template, powered by Salesforce Lightning Web Components, LWC, and our new Lightning Web Runtime, or LWR. Hyper-optimized to deliver scale, built on top of open standards, and did we mention unparalleled performance? The brand new Build Your Own template is created with incredible page speed performance and enhanced developer productivity to build everything from custom portals and microsites to marketing websites, all powered by Lightning Web Runtime. So let's dive right in. Today, we will be playing the part of a digital experience team within the fictional utility company, Salesforce Energy. We have just received news from risk management that there will be outages across multiple regions of our service area, Salesforcea, and we have been assigned with communicating these potential outages to customers. Welcome to our Salesforce Energy site, and you guessed it, it's running on our performant Lightning Web Runtime platform and built using the new Build Your Own template. As you can see, we allow you to build that pixel-perfect experience with the design system of your choice. Now we will jump into the Experience Builder to create that new outages page. Here in the Experience Builder, what you see is what you get. On the home page, each part of the page is built out in custom, reusable, drag and droppable LWC components. Some of them are even using Salesforce CMS content to provide additional flexibility and customization directly from right inside Salesforce CMS. Let's go ahead and create a brand new page. We'll create a new standard page and we'll name it Outages. And this will create a new blank page for us in the Experience Builder. Next, we will add the page to our custom navigation menu through the navigation menu editor. If I go into our default nav and edit that, I can add a new menu item. We'll call it Outages and we'll point it to our new Outages page and we'll make it publicly available. As soon as I hit save, our custom nav menu has just pulled in that data and just taken in that outages page. After that, we can now begin building our page using one of our most powerful admin features, flexible layouts. Here you can create multiple responsive regions with various customizations, including update the number of columns per row, the column spacing, the content width, and more. Now that we have built our page, we will drag in our reusable custom components. First, I will drag in the hero component we saw on the home page. I can now update the content that it's pointing to and completely update the component without any code needed. Next, I will drag in our outages map. If we need to update this at a later time, the content admin will be able to do this all from CMS without needing to enter the builder. We also have a few out of the box components including our rich content editor and new tile menu components. We will quickly create a tile menu with the various regions we serve. We also have rich customizations on this component, allowing us to create overlaid text and coloring. As our Lightning Web Runtime platform grows, you should expect many of our existing components to begin their transition into this product. Finally, we are going to publish our site and deploy it to production. With Lightning Web Runtime, we optimize the performance of the site during our publish by statically generating parts of the site so that we can scale the product across a global content delivery network, or CDN. Thanks for joining us for today.